Hi, my name is Kylie Sheehan. I'm with the USPA Certified Polo Instructors Program and today I'm going to be talking about tail tying. The most uh, important thing about tail tying is uh, the safety factor. Whether you're stick and balling or playing, you need to have your horse's tail tied up. Uh, the reason it's important is if you're swinging a mallet, you run the danger of getting your mallet caught in the tail, which will end up uh, causing the horse to possibly uh, act up. The second important thing uh, when you're tying a tail is to have either an assistant holding the horse or have the horse tied to a secure location such as a trailer or uh, a piece of baling twine, that sort of thing. Uh, when you head back towards the horse's hindquarters, you want to be aware that you're in a somewhat, uh, a somewhat dangerous position. So you need to be aware of the horse's hindquarters at all times. Uh, th my first uh, demonstration is going to be using tape. Uh, you want to use electric tape that has a little bit of stretch to it. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is braid down the tail. So you'll, you'll split it into three sections, three even sections, and start as high up towards the tailbone as you can. Again, you want to be paying attention to the horse's hind feet because they may kick at flies, not intentionally at you, but you still need to be aware. You begin to braid down, trying to keep a tight braid as you go, and staying off to the side, again, out of danger. You keep braiding, and your goal is to braid all the way down to the bottom of the tail. Now at the end of this braid, you have two options. You can either use your electric tape to secure your braid, or if you're trying to save some tape and some time after you take the tail down, you can just go straight to tying up the tail. If your horse moves, you can keep walking with it. Just try to stay out of the danger zone. We're almost at the end of our braid. Again, keeping a nice, tight, and consistent braid all the way to the end. As you get down to this section, you're going to look for uh, the tail running out of room. And that's when you're going to use your electric tape, which is currently in my pocket, to secure this braid. So with my tail tape, I'm going to use it and wrap it around the very bottom. And luckily, this electric tape is nice and stretchy, so you can just pull it off and break it. Then, if you need to drop the horse's tail, it's still up in a braid. Now, reminding the horse that I'm still back here, I'm going to fold it into three, into thirds, like so, here at the bottom of the tailbone, and then you fold it up like so. Again, I'm going to grab my tail tape, and there are several ways to do this, but I like to start at the top section and your goal is to put the tape at three different points. The top part of the braid, the bottom part of the braid, and in the middle of the braid. I like to start at the top. As you squeeze the section of the braid, you'll wrap around behind the horse's tailbone and wrap around until it's secure. Then you pull and break off the tape. That way, the horse's tail is up and secure. Now I'm going to move to the bottom part of the tail. I find it easier to space out the electric tape in this way. I go for about an inch and a half from the bottom of the horse's tail at this point. Again, I wrap it around the horse's entire tail, making sure the braid is still secure. Again, watching out for the horse's hind end at the same time. Then I go for the middle part of the tail. I usually try to keep it spaced out as evenly as possible. Wrap around just like the other three. You don't want to do it too tight, but you definitely don't want to do it too loose either. 
so that the braid comes undone. At the end, you want to have the tail looking, going straight down, and then it's out of the way when you're ready to play. So in order to take this down, you want to remind your horse that you're back here. Some horses aren't necessarily used to having their horse's tail taped up. So you really want to talk to them and make sure your handler is aware of what you're doing. Uh, the easiest way to undo it is to grab the ends of the electric tape and unwrap like so. And we'll do that again for the middle. Luckily, electric tape is pretty easy to break. So if you can't find the end, you'll just uh, look to break a part of it. Again at the top, and then you let your braid down and then undo your tail tape at the bottom. Then you let your braid undone. So, like I said, that's the first, uh, the first method for taping up a tail. Uh, my second way for tying up a tail might be better for somebody who's on a budget. You can uh, actually get away with not using tape at all. This way, you start with the tail. You're going to have a braid section as well as a small piece that will end up securing the horse's tail. I usually look for a piece that ends up being about a centimeter thick, I would say. Again, reminding the horse that you're back here. The piece that's going to secure the braid, it's important that you select a piece that's about halfway up their tailbone. So I let that piece down, and that's going to be separate from my braid section. As I start my braid, I'm going to make sure again that it's three even sections, just like I explained in my tape section. Again, I'm staying at the side of my horse, staying out of the kick zone. I begin to braid down. And what's different about this method than taping it down is that you're not going to go all the way to the bottom of the tail. You're only going to go about a third of the way, not quite halfway down the tail. Once you're at this point, you're going to take your two smaller sections of your braid and split it into, so now that the tail is split in half rather into thirds, rather than into thirds. At this point, you remind your horse that you're back here and you're going to wrap these two sections around the back of the horse's tailbone. Again, you really don't want to get straight behind the horse in case they kick back. So I'm going to move the two pieces behind the tailbone um, and make sure that you wrap it around, and then you're gonna wrap it around again. As I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I, uh, that I wrap it tight enough around the tailbone that if I try to pull down, it doesn't pull down too easily. So now these two sections of the, of the, uh, of the hair are gonna be twisted so that you secure the hair around the horse's tailbone. As I twist, you'll see that uh, you still have your section free hanging down. You make a small loop and secure it at the base of the horse's tailbone. At this point, this is when the, you're going to use your free, um, your free piece of hair. I select, a, select towards the end of the, of the hair and I'm going to grab it in, my, in between my fingers where I'm holding the horse's tail and begin to 
uh, again, staying to the side of the horse, um, and begin to wrap around the, uh, the twisted section. I go as tight as I can, because again, it's important that you keep the horse's tail tied up while you're playing. Then I wrap the section and put it underneath the, uh, the extra hair. And after I'm done and feel secure, I pull down. And that's how you have your, uh, your tail tied up without tape. So um, again, this is how you, uh, you tie up a tail without using tape. It might take some practice for sure to get used to before you go out on practice and practice with it. Um, but uh, that's how you do it. Now that your horse's uh, tail is tied up, you have to learn how to untie it. So reminding your horse that you are uh, back towards their hindquarters and in the kick zone, staying off to the side. You take the tail, pull it over towards you, and you'll see that the, uh, the section that is holding the entire tail up is underneath the one piece of hair that uh, is wrapped around. So you, you uh, make this section come loose by pushing it towards you and start unraveling. As you unravel, you'll find that your, the piece of hair that was holding it all up will come loose. Then you'll let the, the tail untwist like so, and then you unbraid it, reminding your horse that you are back here. And after the horse's tail is unbraided, you're good to go. My name is Kylie Sheehan with the uh, USPA Certified Polo Instructors Program. Uh, play safe, play smart, play polo. Mm -hmm.